High in the mountains lived a kind quilt maker. Her name was Iris. She had nimble fingers and a big heart. Iris made quilts, not just any quilts. They shimmered with the colors of the mountains. Sunsets, waterfalls, and wildflowers bloomed on her quilts. Iris gave her quilts freely. She gave them to new mothers and lonely souls. She gave them to those who shivered in the cold. Each quilt carried a piece of Iris's love. It warmed not just the body, but also the soul. Down in the valley lived a king. He was greedy and kept everything for himself. He had chests overflowing with gold. His castle was filled with lavish things. Yet the king was always unhappy. He never shared his riches. He never helped his people. The king's heart was as cold as the gold he hoarded. One day, the king heard about Iris's quilts. People talked about their warmth and beauty. They said the quilts brought joy and comfort. The king, intrigued, decided he must have one. He had never wanted anything so much. The king set off on his journey to Iris's cottage. Iris welcomed the king with a smile. She offered him warm tea and a slice of her freshly baked bread. The king, used to grand feasts, found the simple meal surprisingly delicious. He told Iris about his wish for a quilt. Iris listened patiently. Then she presented him with a quilt. It shimmered with all the colors of the mountain sunset. The king stared at the quilt. He had never seen anything so beautiful. He touched it gently. The quilt felt warm like sunshine on a spring day. For the first time, I feel a strange warmth inside me. It wasn't the warmth of fire, but something different. It was the warmth of kindness, the warmth of love. The king, deeply touched, felt the urge to share this feeling. I must share this warmth. He took the quilt and gave it to a poor farmer he met on his way back. The farmer's eyes welled up with tears as he accepted the gift. Seeing the farmer's happiness, I felt a joy I had never known. He realized that true happiness came not from keeping things, but from giving them away. The king returned to the castle a changed man. He opened his treasures. He shared his wealth with the people. He helped those in need. This is true wealth. The kingdom, once shrouded in sadness, was now filled with joy. He learned that true wealth was not measured in gold, but in kindness and generosity. The king and the quilt maker became good friends. Together we can make a difference. Let's ensure everyone has a quilt to warm their body and heart. The king learned that the joy of giving was far greater than the pleasure of possessing. And so the kingdom, once ruled by greed, became a land of warmth, kindness, and joy. It all began with a simple quilt filled with the magic of love.